Hey there, how you doing? Uh, I just wanted to make a brief video um, that kind of like off the cuff that just basically talks about vi Video Spin Blaster Pro because I just got excited about this software in that I use, you know, video a lot and I've, I always get, you know, kind of stumped when I'm thinking about the videos that I need to make and this software actually makes making videos fun. So, you know, I've been just kind of cranking out videos left and right and I wanted to say that the support that this program or software has is really, really great in that they constantly come up with new updates for it, making it better. They listen to the customer's suggestions and the software does what it says it does. So I want to start off by showing you pretty much how it works. I'm going to, first of all, make a new list, uh, build a new list. You, It's all based on keywords. So if you think you might want to make a video about um, cats or dogs or if you want to make a video about uh, gardening or whatever you want to make a video about, you can just kind of think about it in terms of, of a keyword. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly make a new video list and I think I'll just choose sea lions. So I want to start out by making a brand new video list. And you can see that I'm now working with sea lions. And I want to add images. Now I have the choice of adding images from the PC or I can add them from the internet. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add sea lions from the internet. I'm going to click on download images that are available for commercial use. And then I'm going to hit search. I'm going to go ahead and let the system bring me some images that I could use to talk about sea lions. And uh, we'll go ahead and pull those up. It only takes a few seconds, as you can see. You start to see images popping up uh, right there from off the Internet. You don't have to go searching for them. You can just wait for them to come to you. So you see what you like here. And if you want to go ahead and, and stop it, you can stop it. I'll stop it for now. And then I'm going to... Uh, basically go ahead and I think I'll go ahead and add uh, I'll add uh, these all these images I'll just go ahead and add them click add images and as you can see you now have uh, what 18 images there in regard in reference to sea lions um, if there's anything you can you can always pull up an image to get closer to it to be able to see it double click and it'll show you now, if you decide you don't want that image, you think it's not really appropriate for you for whatever reason, you just right click or you click on that and you can delete that image from out of your, uh, you know, stockpile there of images. Um, for now, for the purposes of making this video, I'm just going to go ahead and go to the second step. Um, now, I want to add text. I don't want to add it from the PC, but I'm going to search on the internet. You can add it from your PC if you want to, if you've written something about um, sea lions. And I'm going to search sea lions. So this is going out into easing articles or easine articles. I'm going to set the, the location of the text that I want to grab. And I want it to be in the bottom middle of my page. I want it to be a bit transparent. I think that I might want to select white for the color of the background and I think I want to select black for the color of the text and I have the font set as Arial you can always choose a font if you want you can choose another font you can even choose a size whether you want it to be bold bold italic etc um, and then what I'm going to do is hit search now it brings me up four articles there that I can uh, choose from and I'm deciding that I want to choose Persecution of the Sea Lion from Ezine Articles. Now keep in mind, as I said, you can also choose whatever text you want. If you have PLR articles, you know, whatever, you can grab that, that information and you can input it into the text area here. But I want to show you for the purposes of doing this that you can grab all the information off the internet just by choosing the keyword. Now I'm going to save that. I'm going to click on that and you can see that now every every field basically is set up. You know, 
And I think what I'll do is I'll move this video. You can see that you can move these images. Since there was no text set up, I'll use that as my opening image. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I am going to um, choose a few parameters here. I'm going to select all and I want to choose the transitions. I want this to be a fade out and I want to make sure that the position of my text is going to be the bottom middle. As you can see, it is in the bottom middle. Um, if I had a watermark image, I would be able to load it from my PC and I would be able to set the position of it. But since I don't have an image for the purposes of this video right now, I'm just going to go ahead and have no watermark. This will be my sample video. You can always preview a slide if you want. You can replace an image and you can delete an image also with this um, when you right click on the image. Now I've got all of my information set to where it's going to be fade outs and whatnot. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the internet. Um, you know, as a matter of fact, I have some audio that I've already chosen, but I'm going to show you just for the purpose of showing you how to do this. Um, you can actually, I had set up sea lions and it will go out into the internet and it will search for royalty uh, and free music that you can download to be able to use for uh, your video. So since I already have some music in in my, my uh, computer that I probably will find that might be appropriate for this, I'm going to just say cancel because I don't want to use that. Um, I don't want to use that uh, that music. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to go ahead and create the video. Now this is where it gets fun. Because, and it was always fun, but I mean it just gets to be really cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to choose where I want to save this video and uh, I have a, a location where I am choosing to, to put all of my videos and sample videos and uh, I'm going to call it Sea Lions. And I'm going to save it right there. And um, I'm not going to randomize pictures. If I were to randomize pictures, it would make it so that, you know, all of these, I could generate however many videos that I wanted to, and it would actually randomize the pictures. It would make, I could, I could you know, make as many videos as I wanted to, and it would redo the, pic the pictures in different orders to make it a different and unique video every time. So I don't want to randomize the pictures for this purpose. And I'm going to add an audio background. And I'm also going to add speech. Now this is going to be automated speech. Uh, the automated text comes from, I believe, from Google's own automated uh, text uh, system. So I am adding speech and I'm going to add a video um, music that was already there um, it's called about a good friend so I'm gonna add that music to this and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, and uh, you know it's gonna automatically make it so that the text that I've chosen is going to fit the each slide and it's gonna be appropriate the time is gonna actually be just appropriate to the the length of time that it's gonna be required to actually read the the text along with the video so let me go ahead and uh, click start now if I hadn't had it like this if I didn't do that I would actually you know I wouldn't be able to add uh, speech audio from the from the from the text so it's already given me a ch couple of choices there I can turn text to audio I can turn text of slides to audio or I can do it from an audio file. So I'm turning the text of the slides to audio. And on top of that, there's going to be music along with that. So let me go ahead and actually do this. You got some other choices. If you want to generate fast, you know, I want transitions in my, um, in my videos. So I don't want to generate it fast and I don't want to generate my whole entire video list at once. So I'm going to leave these two boxes unchecked. You can also choose the parameters of the quality of the video and also the video size of what depending on what where you want to show this video. So I'm going to start and uh, I'm going to let this go 
and what I'll probably do is cut and come back to you to um, to let you know when the video has generated okay I put the video on pause uh, and what I wanted to do was you know it took I don't know a few minutes to generate the video and what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna also put the video on pause I'm gonna go find the video and I want you to see what it's gonna look like okay and then uh, we'll see what we got going on here okay I'm resuming the video here because I pulled up the result and I wanted to show it to you okay this is a uh, this is what the video of the turns out to be. Fishermen, as well as sportsmen, and to the huge amount of destruction the sea lions were causing, the California Division of Fish and Game announced a program of reducing the herds of California and stellar sea lions of the California coast by one half dots of sportsmen and fishermen contended that these interesting sea mammals are taking fish they want for themselves, and the fishermen claim that their nets are being torn or destroyed. This plan of sea lion persecution is the latest of many efforts undertaken after hearing only one side of the story. Dot where the other side is amply available through factual information on the life and feeding habits of the animals. In fact, the very agency that now sets out to destroy sea lions on such flimsy and prejudiced evidence published misinformation and now chooses to ignore is Dot the California sea lion is the animal that has endeared itself to them as the trained seal of circus. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this out and just talk a little bit about this um, this program and that, you know, it it's 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 great. That's really all I can say is that you can choose to have the automated text if you want, but you do not have to have it. You can just have yourself. You can use maybe audacity and and uh, just record yourself speaking you can choose to just have the text by itself um, with music as a underlying bed um, you can have it to where there is no music you can mold this to what you would like just a note is that it will only show slides but um, when this video is produced I mean how hard would it be really to go back to Windows Movie Maker and add this video in there add some live action video if you wanted to splice it in there and then go back and and just add a, a another music track or or whatever i mean in other words you can tweak this this software you can tweak these videos after you get your basic video uh to whatever you would like it to be or you can just leave it like this so um i really hope that that this presentation gives you a, a greater idea it also has a video spinner section, which uh, I haven't used very much, but you can spin these videos to, to make them hundreds, hundreds of videos. You can change, uh, change the video to where they all have different, you know, different information. And uh, it's just a very useful tool. So I just wanted to quickly share um, with you this product and I really hope that you um, enjoyed this presentation. All right. Thanks a lot